Hi guys, finally uh, I have time to make a video of how to make turnouts from scratch. It's a kind of involved process. Uh, if you don't have a patience for this kind of work, I don't know. Uh, you might not like uh, doing it, but uh, I really like it and I enjoy doing my own um, turnouts. The only ones that I usually do are the curved turnouts uh, like this one's here uh, see this one I have built myself from scratch I'll show you it came out pretty good so I have built bigger ones uh, I'll show you some pictures of it on my layout and uh, they work perfectly I mean uh, it beats uh, paying 40 bucks, 45 bucks for uh, big turnouts. Uh, like uh, this one, you can see how big it is. I have, uh, I think, three or four of them on my layout. I have left and right. Okay. You need some tools. I will uh, show you the tools and also you need these printouts. Uh, you can get from Fast Tracks. building uh, these two this one I have already built it halfway so you can see how it comes out so it works really well so it needs some uh, attention some patience as I said uh, the first Two, it might be difficult, but when you get hold of it, uh, you'll enjoy building it and it's cheap. Uh, each like big one turnouts like this, you need uh, three three foot rails, I think, if I'm not wrong, for a big one like this. For a small one like this, you need only one three foot uh, flex track so I know they're ch uh, not cheap uh, these days and nowadays they're like six seven dollars each uh, so they're still worth uh, making your own then another part you're gonna need for this uh, project are wood ties these are basswood I buy them from hobby shop I paint them first like these are mocha or no uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you which one it is so I paint it you can see 
it's not painted on this side let me tell you what the size is I forgot so let's go by millimeter it's 316 and 124 thousandths of an inch so it's 316 by millimeter is better one and a half millimeter so 32018 by 155 millimeter and they come in two foot long uh, I bought a lot of them from this hobby shop they were going out of business I, I like that so I bought like 20 of them or more for like 19 cents each so they're pretty cheap all right so what you need to do you need to print out this from fast tracks so I will tell you there are two of it so like that you don't have to do the back okay so you do the front to make sure you go over like this one I've gone like an inch over all right so you get this tape make sure there is no bubbles or wrinkles in it all right so all right so when you get this printout ready like this I have done you need uh, PC boards uh, let me show you hold up all right so you need PC boards like this you can buy them on eBay or fast track the same uh, website that sells the tools how to make these uh, turnouts they sell this already cut in pieces pieces like this you can order it from them but uh, I like to cut them myself so because I can choose the width I can make them wide I can make them thin you know so it's it's a kind of involved to cut in it it's a little bit difficult so what I do I use a straight edge and there are a couple of types of these uh, PC boards some of them are easy to score them and snap them some like this one it's hard so what I do I use a straight edge and draw score lines in it with uh, with this so I put the straight edge and you know score it then I use a cutting uh, wheel with a Dremel then I cut it so if it doesn't come out straight you can always file it and uh, smoothen it like this so it doesn't have to be perfect because you don't need that many so like here you can see and when you print this out it will tell you where to put those PC boards they're gray darker here you see these are the gray ones I usually add one at the end here too like this one didn't have here so I added because this was kind of not secured so I wanted to add it there so okay so you can see the gray ones so you have to put your PC boards there and you have to make sure you cut the copper in the center wherever you can see in the picture here so you have to cut here then you have to cut let me get a clean one so you have to cut the rails here too okay and the PC boards you have to cut them 
So make sure you cut all this here, all right? Unless it's gonna be a short. And the way I cut it, I use a file. I don't use a machine or a cutting wheel because you could cut too deep in the PC board and it will get weakened. So what I use, I use a, a jeweler's file and I just score it very lightly and if you hold it against the light you can see through if it's cut or not so if you hold the behind if there's a light in the back you you can see through if it's cut or not to make sure you cut all the way through the uh, copper so alright after you do all these cuts all these notches here you have to stick it on this uh, paper so what I use I use this uh, double stick tape I bought this from tap plastics so I peel it off okay I cut it in small pieces and then I stick these PC boards on the wherever they're supposed to go see I cut in small pieces like that and wherever the PC board is gonna go I stick it on like that okay so now you know where your PC boards are gonna be ties and they're secure in place so this one I did it a long time ago the glue has dried so I have to put new ones okay so this is ready okay all right next let me okay next you need some tools uh, you need a file like this a big one okay it needs to be a little bit fine not too rough okay and you need jewelers file uh, you need two three different shapes let me show you I've drawn the shapes here you can see a rectangle like this one okay and the center I don't know what to call it this one okay and a triangular uh, I gotta find my triangular one I there's not much use mostly you use the flat one but this will, two will come handy too it's good to have so and they come usually in a package like this you can find them online or Harbor Freight tools I bought them from Harbor Freight tools they're pretty cheap so uh, if you don't have it uh, get it so to finish the uh, rails and stuff you need to use that fine I mean you can still get away with this one but I would like to fine-tune it with the finer uh, files all right so you need those files and uh, of course you need soldering gun solder you need some uh, flux like this one here okay and uh, what else and I think that's it for now if I have missed anything I will uh, write it down okay so this is oh one more important thing all right, all the, uh, these things that I'm going to tell you right now, this, especially this piece here, uh, you can buy it at uh, 
fast tracks website but they're kind of costly I mean you can buy all the tools and stuff for three three hundred fifty dollar but uh, I kind of like to get creative you know challenge myself uh, using kind of primitive tools <laughs> like this one this is a piece of uh, dried uh, pine I actually I think it might be cedar so what it, you need to do you need to do a couple of notches actually you should you could get away with one and I tell you what these notches are for so you put one notch in the wood okay so hopefully this is focused cleared enough so you can see so this notch here what you need to do this is the track you put it sideways you put the bottom of the track into the notch so you gotta make sure the track is level like that okay you gotta not like that if it's angled like that when you file it it's not gonna be straight so you gotta make sure the notch is the depth of the notch is uh, enough so you get the track you know straight like that and you put the bottom of the track not the top of the track you put the bottom of the track the bottom where it sits on the ties it's wider than the top of the track so um, this is 100 this is code 100 what I'm talking about so let me get the measurements so the bottom of the track is 192 the top is almost one millimeter so it's almost twice as thick or wide so okay so you put the bottom of the rail bottom of the rail in the notch and you file the top you file it until it looks like that you get it flat like that okay then after you filed it flat you file the top this little notch here the top of the track you make it that one flat too I will show you how to do it then this is thick the the rail is thick so after you file three sides or three notches you leave that bottom one still there and you file it until you get it thin like this this is going to be the point it's so thin you see it's very thin okay let me show you the actual so this is one of them so you gotta get it really thin okay I hope you can see it I will take pictures so it's all clear and focus so all right so here you file here after file the other side you file the other side then this is the base this is the top then you file that little notch there until you get it like that like L okay so this is what you use it for so let me show you I hope I can get it to show you how it looks okay see you put the rail like that okay
flat and then you start filing you file here until let me show you so it sits like that all the way across okay you file it in an angle you don't file it straight you file it in an angle almost 45 degree angle so you file it you come all the way back almost uh, what three inches until you get it really thin okay you can see it's filed here and you got to make sure it's straight flat when you look this way it's 90 degree okay let me write for you so this cannot be like that you see it's a little bit narrower on the top and wider at the bottom okay you got to make sure you get it all the way straight okay no angle okay it has to be straight okay guys I turned that uh, board around I think it's better this way less uh, reflection and I mounted the camera on my light so you can see directly down all right so uh, I soldered this together the point here uh, frog point uh, so one thing I wanted to remember to tell you about this uh, tie here that connects to the end of the point rails here that goes up and down left and right so what you need to do or you don't have to I do it is I file it or actually I use a sandpaper it's a hundred grid I put it on it and just sand it down so it is a little bit thinner shallower than the ties on the sides so these two ties so this one it's shallow, shallower than these two on the side the reason I do that and another thing I do I file the ends a little bit I give it a curve so what it does it helps it to move better left and right so it doesn't catch to anything so it slides better and this way when you do like uh, I don't know 1 64th or 1 20th of a millimeter or 1 tenth of a millimeter so this way it won't rub on the surface below and it will move easier so what happens this point here it rubs against this all these you know ties here so you want it to move easier so I think this help doing this it will help so that would be this one I have already done it okay so now I hope you got it all this set up like this your PC ties in place so now we get to the soldering after you did this railing I'll show you you need to drill this some of this you need to drill this this moving tie you need to drill because you want to run your uh, pin to move this around with servos or uh, turdoys or some whatever so you need to drill holes in it all right so we get to the soldering now so what I do as far as soldering is concerned the ties that I'm supposed to solder I do a little bit of 
flux on it. Okay. Where the rail is going to sit on it here. Okay. Do all the way. And the thing is, I would like to start from outside rails. Okay, either this side or this side, doesn't matter. So start it uh, from one, one of the sides, whichever you pick. Okay. All right, so I got all these flux on them. Okay guys, um, so, <clears throat> so after you put the flux on it, you put solder on where you put the flux. So you put not too thin because you want the rail to stick to it so don't put too thin okay all right so these are all prepped all right so now time is to put the rail on it so now the same thing we're going to do with the rail. We put flux wherever you think it's the location where you need to solder. Uh, the better flux supplier. Okay. I mean, you can even put some more on the soldering itself here to help. Okay, so now it's very important that you get um, I'll bring it down. So you need to get this notch, see this notch, match it to the notch on the printout. Okay, let me, actually I'm going to take this away so I can see better, all right. All right, there's the notch here. Okay, so you match where the notch is. And also, you got to align the rail like perpendicular right on top of the printout, okay? So after you align it like that, I use my strong soldering gun, it makes it faster. Oops, it moved. So you put the soldering gun right on the rail. Also you can put it on the thigh with the, where the solder is okay so it's in place all right so now 
we do the same thing here you got to make sure it's aligned okay so if you are using one of these uh, guns the 100 or 150 watt get your gun hot and then put it on because you don't want to heat up the PC board too long uh, and you want to cool it down fast because if you get one of those 30 watts I mean you can you can use it but don't keep the soldering gun too long on the PC board because the copper will separate so you want to be as quick as possible okay so I'm going to align this one it's good to hold your fingers on both sides so it doesn't move get it hot before you touch it Oops, that one didn't stick. I moved it. sure you align the rail with the printout it's very important All right, guys, that's it. So this one side, it's in place, soldered, okay. Pretty quick, it gets done pretty fast. And now we do the other side. Again, you got to make sure that this notch here matches yeah, this, this notch here matches the notch on the printout, so they're aligned. Okay, one thing I do uh, hold on all right one one thing I do before I solder the second one in place I get a uh, track and use the rail joiners and place it like that 
And this one is a little bit short. So it needs to come out. I gotta cut that one, hold on. So okay, so bef so after let's say you did all the soldering and stuff, you put this rail here and then you solder so this way you get a hundred percent perfect ma uh, gap so I have already put the flux on the joints so I mean on the um, ties and I'm gonna start at this time I'm gonna use this Gun. Okay, so So now I'm gonna again just do a little bit of flux under the rail so this kind of cleans the this flux cleans the rail too so when you get it under I mean if you have a little brush it would be better I don't have it so I'm just using this and then again you can put some on the solder here okay now I'll put this, I cut the other rail and this one is a little bit longer. Again, you gotta make sure that this notch, so actually it is aligned with this line here, so I'll put it right there. Okay, so I'm good for soldering. Okay, I can take it off and then again you gotta be careful with aligning the rail with the bottom printout. Okay. And this one was a little bit out. I 
I can smell her now. Okay, as I said, you don't have to worry in the beginning the curvature, so you can always align it when you're soldering. one all right okay that's it it's done you can see it's all pretty nicely aligned not bad okay All right, next would be the point rails, these guys. Okay, what you can do, you can file a little bit these ones here with the uh, let's say 320 uh, sandpaper so I usually file a lot of it I mean so, uh, sand because sometimes when you cut it it gets uh, sharp edges and interferes with the uh, point rail to move around I mean you could have done this before but now it's not late either so actually it's better now because they're solid in place another thing you want to do especially right here uh, that's where the this round kind of file comes handy you want to get the solders here out of the way this one's here see this one has really sharp edge here so it can get really into the corner there and get all the solder out of the way because you want this point to sit snug tight if there's solder it will sit with the gap see right now here there is solder it doesn't let it go in see so what you need to do is file this out out of the way this solder triangular uh, file would help too so it would be good okay now oops See, it sits flush. And this one goes here, flush. So you only need to do this one, and this one here you don't have to because the point comes only up to here. All right, and this one's you don't have to. The point doesn't get. I mean, the rail doesn't go that far out there. Okay, 